You want to open it? Yeah. Okay. Let's open it. things of instructions. Yep, instructions. I got some stickers. <laughs> what does the dinosaur say? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. There's the dinosaur. You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, you can get it. Get it. Can you push it down? Good job. This is Lego set 75935, Barry Onyx face off, the treasure hunt. This is one of the, well, I guess it's about to phase out, but this is one of the newer Jurassic World sets, one of the ones that's still in production. Um, this is the Barry Onyx. You can see it's a pretty big dinosaur figure. I don't remember. This being in the movie, I don't remember the Jurassic World movies all that well, to be honest, though. But it's based on a real dinosaur, and I think they did a pretty good job. There's a dinosaur that was thought to have been more of a fishing dinosaur. Who knows? But 
I think it's a cool design. As far as minifigures, you have the same Owen Grady figure that's in basically every Jurassic World set. I think his vest or torso might differ a little bit, but I think he's he's pretty much in every single Jurassic World set there is. And you have this guy, Sinjin. He's got a treasure map. I don't remember him from the movies either. I basically just got this for the Baryonyx figure. Then you have, I think this is, his name is Danny Niedermeyer. He's got two faces. He's like a tech guy, apparently. I do believe he's in the movie. And then you have Claire. She's got two faces as well. Also, this dog minifigure or dog figure named Red. I like I like the dog figures in Lego sets. I think this is the same shape as the Huskies from the Arctic sets, um, but different coloration. So that's cool. I actually think the Jeep in this is pretty good looking. Um, the doors open up on it and it's wide enough for two minifigures. Plenty of room for two. Yeah, I think it's a, for not being a super big set and not having that many figure or pieces, it's, I think it's pretty good. Has a trailer hitch on it. You can hook the trailer up to it. Um, trailer isn't super detailed. It's okay. Um, it's nice that it has these that you can park it somewhere or flip them up when it's being towed. And then this actually. Oh. Opens up. Maybe. There we go. You got a cot and a computer. Actually, if you can. It has a cool little keyboard piece that I don't remember seeing before underneath all the other switches. And then you have just that cot. And then it just snaps back into place. And then the last little element for the set has this little water feature. It's got some fish in there, got a waterfall, palm tree. And then, I'm sure that this isn't in the movie, but yeah, I mean, this set's called the Treasure Hunt. So, it has these plants, and you push this, it opens them up, and there's a treasure chest. Apparently, that they're looking for. Again, not from the movie, but kind of fun, I guess. It's got the gold bars. I really miss not focusing very well. I miss the old school gold Lego, like the shiny gold pieces from like the 1990s pirate sets. Um, there's some of the other older sets. And now we just get these more matte looking gold bars in sets. Um, but it does have a whole bunch of different colors of jewels, I think there's six. Yeah, got the blue, purple, red, pink, yellow, and white. So it's 
it's kind of fun. Also, these are one of the pieces that there's always a duplicate of in the set. So it has a bunch of extra gem pieces, six extra gem pieces, one for each color. So it's kind of fun extra pieces to get as well. But yeah, that's the Baryonyx. Baryonyx, uh, what is it? Baryonyx face off Lego set. Again, I think the coolest things are probably obviously the Baryonyx itself. And then I did really like the Jeep design. Um, but thank you for watching.